All right, well, good morning. This is going to be a 20 by 24 ranch style garage. Um, this will be in, an interesting storyline today. It's uh, 35 degrees right now. Um, it's supposed to turn cooler through the day. It's uh, 8 o'clock. The, the truck's supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. <laughs> well, they called, they're an hour late. They're running behind. Um, this is going to be different in a few ways, so it should, I, I think it'll be interesting. Um, we're adding 2% non chloride uh, accelerator so that it'll set up more quickly. We're going to build another tent like we did on the last one. Chad's cutting the rafters so that we can create a different look so it sits up a little higher. We're going to actually close it up so we can turn heat on and have have it warm in there so it'll cure better. Uh, it's supposed to snow later today, so it's just a whole bunch of interesting things going to happen. Let's see how it goes. This tent won't be staked down to the ground. It'll be a little more free flowing. We're, we're making these legs <coughs> so it sits up higher. Uh, around the edges so that the trowel can get around there better. This is going to be like the Taj Mahal. Never been there. Boy, we've got plenty of width, don't we? That's nice. Well, let's stand this up, and then if you could stabilize it, just balance it, I think. It's actually kind of nice to have the width. Do you have a couple feet there? Yeah. I like that. You get that? wonder if we can patent that. <laughs> ah. So they usually squirt some out and we'll see what the mix looks like. This kind of weather, you don't want it too wet because it'll take forever to set up. That looks good, huh? We've got a good operator, he's able to spread it around for us. <laughs> Near the end, I always wonder if you got enough concrete. <laughs> we're, we're high, yeah, we're high out in the middle. So we're short, about two wheelbarrows full over in that corner. But we're high in the in the middle, so I'll run the screen and we'll kind of pull. We're high in the middle, so uh, run the screen. We'll pull that back some. So we did have a, a pretty good hump in the middle, and we've pulled it back. But we, uh, I think, we'll be able to throw away at least a cup, a teacup full of concrete. <laughs> so now we both float. The next step after we've screeded, you can see this pivots. So when you're going out, you head it that way, you're coming back, and you just turn it. So 
So we're back the next day. We have this all stripped. Took the took the tent down. We are going to cover this uh, because it's December 3rd or 4th right now. We're going to cover it with the tarps. We'll put like three or four layers of tarps so that it'll help insulate the slab because we won't be back for two or three weeks. It'll be close to Christmas time. Um, so we'll cover that up and uh, we'll be back as soon as we finish a couple other garages. It's a month later from since when we poured the slab. We had it covered and it stayed really uh, well covered. It didn't freeze at all, so it helped it to cure, cure better. We are ready to put walls up on a 20 foot wide, 24 foot deep, 8 foot uh, ceilings, 512 roof pitch. Uh, there'll be one car door, an entry door couple of windows and it's going to be a, just a fun multi-use little building. <laughs> just put that, I don't know if that'll stay here. Maybe we should staple that one on first. <laughs> FYI, we are totally uncorded today. Everything we're doing is uh, cordless so far. And again, we just set these walls temporarily. We don't care too much yet about being perfectly plumb. I think we're good. Can't wait for break. The homeowner made us some cookies. Looks good here. Nice fit. These folks have been super patient. Really appreciate it. Been quite a batch of weather that has held us up. And Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> So we, we cut and mark, we're going to put top plates all the way around. We cut those ahead. Uh, let me just show you. We label them. That's upside down. TP, toilet, no, it's not toilet paper. Uh, top plate, number one, wall one, which is over there, the second section. So it will overlap the joint, so it'll be... Uh, Good and strong that way. We have a longer one that starts that. But we also mark where all the truss, trusses will be set. All the way at two foot apart. So it saves going up on a ladder to, to mark all of those.
I used a jigsaw for the first time today. We cut out, there's a, an electrical conduit that comes up. This cut it out really well. We're going to do the corner, corner bracing on the inside. We'll get the, the walls so they're all plumb. We're good, this is getting a T1, T111. So uh, because it's so cold, we can't paint or stain it out here. So we'll do all of that in the shop. We'll do it tomorrow, actually. Let it dry, and then we'll come back and put it on. Um, and it'll be all painted. Yep. House wrap. Let's do that. We are wrapped. I think we'll uh, put the w two windows in. We'll put those in before the uh, T111 because it has a built-in J channel. So the T111 slips in behind that. Makes a really nice look. Ah, let's put a window in. You can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that from here. This built-in J channel. So the T111 will slide right in there after we have it installed. Hey, Chad, could you help me? Yep. We'll put these cedar shims in to lift them up off the, off the base, off the sill. All right. So, it is plumbed. Now all we have to do is nail it off. Uh, we're going to do T111 on this one, and we're going to stain it, but because it's below freezing outside, like 20 degrees or so Fahrenheit, um, we're going to stain everything in here. We'll stain it outside. The, uh, the T111 just came from the lumber yard, and it's all heated, so we are going to stain. Masks up. And now we're putting trusses up. Yep, I'm ready. I think. These are pretty light. Okay. These are truss spacer brackets. They fit right over the top cord of the truss. Just tack that in with a roofing nail and we pull them off after. Chad, what are you doing? You know what? I have another idea. I can nail a bracket on here before we tip it up. It's 
snow's not too much fun. Okay. I'm gonna shove it to you about three inches. Okay. Okay. Pushing it to the back and towards me. Okay. 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 Plywood. Yep. We're giving that gun a pretty good workout today. I think it's still on the same battery. Can't let that touch at all, can you? Push it up on that side. Yep. Some of you have asked uh, why house wrap and no uh, sheathing. We just did not have time to put it on, so we're doing it now. T111, we've uh, color matched it to the house. So here we go. With the uh, tongue and groove, those grooves are spaced eight inches apart, so it's every other groove is a stud. So that makes it easy to find those. We've had to make a switch over to the uh, pneumatic coil nailer, sheathing nailer. The nails in the, the other gun are, are framing nail size. 
just a little bit too big. So we're going to go with something a little more dainty. <laughs> Because we're running the air compressor and because it's only 12 or 13 degrees we had to turn on a heater to the air compressor so when it shoots it's shooting steam out. the other way. The one drawback to this type of nailing that's three walls done. We'll go out front and do the other one. All right we've cut around that window so it'll slide right in to that J channel. measurements on uh, the other side. We'll make that so it slides in that way. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Uh, we can do the gable ends up there, but we'll probably apply with the roof next. Since we've gone to all the effort of getting the air compressor out and the hoses and the gun, we'll just sheath this side with the compressor, I mean with the, the pneumatic. Oh, that side was easy. Now we're around to the other side. Roof wrap, here we go. Okay, we're going to go inside and uh, I'll show you how we cut the T111 and match the angle. I know I've talked about it, this in previous videos, I just kind of like to show, show it a little better. For cutting the T111, start right there. We'll make that uh, what will be the left side five and three quarters of an inch. Let's go inside and look at the what we're going to do. So this, this will be the short side, five and three quarters. You know it's a 512 roof pitch, 
So for every, every foot this way, we're going up five inches this way. So it's four feet wide, four times five. Four times five, 20 inches. Plus the five and three quarters. So 25. Go outside and look at that. And it'll be just like that all the way across. One thing I wanted to mention. Uh, we only take one cut out of a full sheet all the way across the front. Then we use the leftover sheets for the back and it works out perfectly. So all you have is just a little bit of waste from the middle of the sheet. and look and see what the other cutoffs look like. So there you can see it matches everything. We'll just start, start with the first measurement, uh, which is going to be the same as the front, five and three quarters, five and a half, somewhere in there. And we can just do them right up through. Hey, let's put some rakes up. Beautiful day. A lot of people ask about the rakes, if they're strong the way we built it. But when you have that nailed into there, the blocking nailed well, you nail through the roof plywood, it just creates almost like a truss. It just will not move. Right up here, 
see that we put a, a two by four all the way down through. Those are marked um, two foot on center. So it spaces the, truss, uh, the trusses in the middle down at the bottom. And we also put angle bracing. Chad's doing that right now. But what that does, the angle bracing takes all the movement out of the front and back wall so it doesn't wibble wobble. <laughs> yeah. We have metal roofing. This is the the last roof of this building season. On to some roofing. We are done. So here we have 20 foot, 24 foot, uh, eight foot ceiling inside. One garage door, nine by seven. The stain matches the house really well. It's a uh, Cordovan brown is the color. It's a Cabot stain. Let's go inside. Let's open the door. Work real well. Real well. Thirty-six inch door. Two windows. They're um, thirty-six wide, forty-eight high. Studs are all sixteen on center. Another window. What that does is tie the the walls in front and back, so that they don't. Cool. Very solid. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and make a comment if you'd like. Thanks.